Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today, uh, if you guys watched the part one video of basically the teasers and spoilers, today we have a ton. Uh, we've got four pretty big ones, I would say, that are that are coming out. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, just to summarize, the pickup range of items has been increased. No longer will we ever have a situation where we're like on, I don't know, the climb or something, and you kill a pack of mobs, and they drop like that transmutation orb or that chaos orb, and you try to pick it up, but your character has to like run all the way around. Never again, boys. Never again. Uh, a new blight oil, a sixth map device slot, and changing bandits. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, game director on Path of Exile. In the Settlers update, the Exile's arms have gotten a little longer. We have increased the range you can pick up items when using a keyboard and mouse to be more on par with controller users. Here's a comparison. I didn't know controller had this already. That's huge. You can find out more about 325 on July 18th at our GGG live event. See you then. Okay, that one's pretty nice. I like that. I mean, just think about how many things you pick up in Path of Exile, right? Okay, new Blight Oil. Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, game director on Path of Exile. In the Settlers update, you might come across a new oil found only in Blighted and Blight Ravaged maps. Prismatic. All the secret notables that can be anointed on your amulet now use this oil. We have added many more notables to that pool. Like this one. Elusive on your effects. Or this one. That's huge. Pulling recovery for throwing traps per mine detonator. You can find out more about 325 on July 18th at our GGG live event. See you then. I mean, just just having new annoyance is already so huge. Like when I when I think of righteous fire, I just think arsonist, uh, ash frost and storm, charisma, growth and decay. Like it's pretty much all the same stuff. So potentially getting something new there is really nice. Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, game director on Path of Exile. In 325, we're adding a sixth map device slot. This one was a bit of a nightmare for our UI designers. You don't want to see the prototypes. Or maybe you do. I like the sixth link. I like actually, I like this one. That one's great. The fifth and sixth map device slots are unlocked by completing either your first 10 way encounter with the Maven or okay. completing your first tier 17 map. Oh. You can find out more about 325 Maven 10 on July. Is that what they said? First tier 17 map. 10-way encounter with the Maven, or first 10-way encounter with the Maven, first 10 -way Maven. or completing okay, your so first not tier before Maven. Map. Wow, okay. You can find out more about 325. That's like, I think that's very fair. All you have to do is do your Maven 10-way. It's not even like actual crazy bossing content yet. Okay, and then the next up would be Bandit Rewards. Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, game director on Path of Exile. In 325, we are changing the Bandit quest reward in Act 2. If you choose to help Oak, he will grant 40 you plus 40 to maximum base life. life. Helping Alera grants you 15% uh, to all elemental resistance. That's not that good. And helping Creighton gives uh, you 8% increased movement speed. I mean, it's pretty good. If you choose to kill all three, Eremir will give you one passive skill point. Oh, but it's for one we point. We have also changed the Through Sacred Ground quest in Act 2 to provide an additional passive skill point. Oh. So you can still get the same total number of skill wow, points as okay. before. You can find out more about 325 on July 18th. At That's actually huge. So that basically means, um, that essentially means that Creighton is 8% movement speed for one point. So I can see a lot of people taking this in the campaign and respecting it later. Personally, as an RF player, movement speed is usually something I always strive for. So your choice is essentially 40 base life versus 8% movement speed. Which is honestly really good. I think both of those are fantastic. Especially when you don't get movement speed boots like early on in the campaign. So overall, honestly, very cool. I'm very happy for the bandit changes. Maybe I would have liked to see something a little bit more creative, but nobody's going to complain about more movement speed in Act 2. Like nobody is. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Except for Sundays. See you guys all tomorrow.